welcome back to MBE. Today, we're going to do a tech video consisting of why to go to the newer valve spring technology. Um, for some reason, this pissed a lot of people off last night, last time. I don't know why valve springs can make people upset, but um, let's see if it happens again. So here we go. So this is the old, this is the new. Okay, so this would be a typical spring in a, in a bush car. Um, that people still run today in the dirt series, okay? This is the new technology, okay? Difference is you look at the, the size of the spring and note that this spring, this spring will outlast this spring four to five to one. Four to five to one. It will control the valve train better and they're only about $150 more per set. So you do the math. I mean, that's pretty obvious. So here's the reasons, you know, some of the reasons why. You know, this basically comes from the cup technology, and it's finally tri tri trickled down to the drag race technology. It just, you know, it just took about a decade for that to happen. But now it has, but this is for um, road race, things like that. This is what this, this application is for. But let's start with the spring, okay? The old spring, the weight itself. Okay, when I talk about the weights, I want to talk about the sprung weight. So it would be... The lifter, I mean, the sprung weight, the spring, retainers, locks, and the valves. That's the sprung weight, uh, meaning that's, that's the weight that is going to create more loft. And when I mean that, that's the lifter going over the nose, okay? There's never any wear over the nose when the lifter comes up. So the, if it's perfect, you land it here like this. And then what happens is, though, when you add that weight, it has... It creates loft and then you have more loft the problem is this is turning it creates pressure angle and instead of this landing at this angle it lands like this then the lifter goes up like this all the harmonics go up through the push rod which ruins the spring okay so these are the reasons why we can control the loft okay first we got a spring the old spring okay and people still use this which it's crazy what if you know this, you shouldn't be doing it. Okay. So 140 145 grams. New spring. 117.7 grams. This spring is 24% lighter and does not need to run 240 pounds on the seat. This 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 works great at 180 pounds on the seat. Okay, now let's go to the retainer. Old retainer. 14.8 grams, new retainer, 8.6 grams. The retainer, this retainer is 77% heavier, 77%. So just don't do the grams, you know, the grams is, but note the percentage of what this is because it's the, it's the percentage that's going to cause this, which causes failures. Okay, now let's go to the locks. Tie lock, tie lock, steel lock, okay? This is what the customer was using. Titanium lock, standard, eight degree lock, 4.1 grams, okay? Now we have the mini locks. Note the size difference. Look at the mass difference of the lock, okay? Strong, will not fail, 2.4. So 4.1, well, 2.3. So the lock, this lock is 80% heavier, and they're both tied. It's 80% heavier. The problem is when you go to steel, you go to 7 compared to 2 compared to 4. So the steel is a no-brainer not to use. Okay, so here you are. You got, you got old, new, new. Or new, old, new, old. Okay, when you add, when you total that up, you got 128.7 grams, 164.1 grams. The difference is 35.4 grams. What you have to ask yourself, when we're worried about valve weights and we're trying to keep the valve weights within two or three grams to control this, would you ever put 35 grams on your valve? I mean, that would that that would be like welding Mallory to to the valve. Like that's crazy. So you wouldn't do that, but you will do this. So everyone just needs to wisen up and just come to the, you know, it's 2019. It's 
it's not 2004, okay? This is a great bush spring in about 2003 and four. That's what most of the people ran. Yes, but we're here now though. And it's all available for everybody. Less failures, it will save you money in the long run. Sure, the spring's a little more money, but if it lasts four times longer and it controls your valve train. So there you have it. These, we, have, we, have, we have this technology available for drag race applications also. Um, but it's all here, you know, it doesn't cost any extra money. So that's, uh, that's the new valve spring technology, just a quickie to go over some things. Um, it should be, hopefully this makes it obvious why to go to these parts is so important to the end user. Thanks for joining us.